Nuclear fission is one process to extract nuclear energy from atoms. When a nucleus is amenable to breaking up into pieces that are larger than alpha particles, we call the nucleus fissile. The uranium-235 isotope is one such example. It is found in nature in small amounts, approximately 0.7% of naturally occurring uranium. Spontaneously, uranium-235 will break apart into smaller nuclei, some neutrons, and it will release energy. Uranium-235 can also be induced into nuclear fission by an interaction with a free neutron particle. Notice that the free neutron not only triggers the fission reaction, but the neutron is also available for reuse in the product of the reaction, plus two more neutrons. The rate of the fission reaction depends on both the concentration of fissile nuclei and the number of free neutrons within the material, which we call the neutron flux. In a nuclear reactor, the neutron flux and the rate of fission is regulated by inserting control rods which absorb neutrons into the material. Example neutron absorbing materials include indium and cadmium. Conversely, lifting out the rods increases the neutron flux to increase the rate of fission. It's important to note that many types of nuclear reactors use slightly enriched uranium. This means the uranium fuel has a few percent more uranium-235 than what's present naturally in uranium samples. The uranium-235 is enriched from around a concentration of 0.7% up to around 5% of the total sample. However, the concentration of uranium-235 is still far below the threshold needed to cause a nuclear explosion in a power plant. If you've heard about nuclear disasters that were the result of accidents from nuclear power plants, they involved high temperatures and the release of nuclear materials into the surrounding environment, not a nuclear detonation. Alternatively, fission is also sufficiently powerful that it has been used to create nuclear weapons. In this case, uranium-235 is enriched from its natural concentration of 0.7% of a uranium sample up to 80%. This ensures the availability of lots of neutrons. The idea behind a nuclear weapon is to unleash as much nuclear energy as possible in a short, uncontrolled burst. If there is enough enriched material together, called the critical mass, the nuclear reaction will take place spontaneously.